all in purple tonight, that is the team's nickname, Alan Arby. So, Qatar and Juwai combined for tonight. Well, he hasn't been in great nick this tournament. He's game three and he's yet to score, which is unusual because he's had some great chances with the sitter at the start of the last game and it was a difficult header to ultimately make contact because there were defenders in the way but having found the space, he was inside the six yard box and he just got right underneath it. He <laughs> was a good chance early, really good chance early. Well, we've a bit games now without one, as you say, Andy, and set up uh, from Q8, the normally reliable goalkeeper. Scramble destroyed game one by Yasuo Kapanov. That's a pretty good punch from uh, now with Alcaldi. Look at the heavy traffic. No, I mean, look at the number two. He really does like to get in behind the opposing defenders. He likes to utilise the space immediately in behind. He's got a good turn of speed. A good contest back to the ball. So an exhilarating break from Qatar. What about this guy? But how long before he's playing in the big leagues of Europe, really? With that sort of acceleration, he saw the goals he scored the other night. Question mark tonight as to whether he can aim up again two games in a row. The early signs are good. It's for the uh, Ghanaian born Lawrence and his uh, central midfield partner with those two in the roster. Way before then. Nevertheless, it might have just been emotional energy expressing itself. A long shot of the offside, just awarded. To be taken, news of a goal in the other game. China lead Uzbekistan by a goal to nil. Ibrahim Majed, the uh, natural left footer, might suit him on the corner. Good strike from Lawrence, had a good game against China. He started strongly here, forcing the save. And the Rafael Kaldu, another corner to the Sanderzik. Sebastian, Ibrahim Majed, oh, and it's here! Yusuf Ahmed has scored! In fact, it's Bilal Mohamed to catch him! Leading by example! Look into the noise around Khalifa Stadium! They want to be a goal and they've got it! But too much pressure too early for Q8. A series of corners have battered the blue wave. There's no hint of offside. Ibrahim Market pushing the line, but it was the captain, Bilal Mohamed, who's been a rock of Gibraltar for this team. Getting a goal he so richly deserves, and a goal Qatar needs. Because with China going a goal up, Qatar have to win to keep the group alive. The captain's delivered, again. Uh, Bruno Maxu, that foot, hitting the cross in. Captain Boham again. Ajit has chased Farhad once. Uh, the second list. With the challenge, you bring Maju to number three with Bill as well. He's had to chase hold Qatar at bay long enough to get into the game themselves. We have this wonderful circular competition in this group. Of So, oh now, the defender left it and he wasn't aware of our side in behind, this is Sebastian, good scrambling by Q8, and turned in by Mohamed Al-Sayed, 2-0 for Qatar, what a start for Bruno Metsu's way, and maybe, just maybe, they're heading for the quarterfinals for only the second time ever. Well, it's catastrophically bad defending from Q8, who are crumbling as we watch. It's gone long into the heart of the lack of surety, otherwise known as defenders dressed in blue. From that point on, it was too late. They scrambled, they threw themselves, but it was all in vain. The Qatar with a start of which they could only have threatened.
Hey, that's a great finish from our client. He had to uh, bend it into the corner pass. Not only the goalkeeper, but a defender too. Cassie Burhan. Probably one or something of uh, one of the stats that Canada was, he was in that vicinity. And, they did, and we're up by two goals to nil five minutes into the game. A similarly blistering start by the Green and Gold. And from somewhere Q8 came and bombarded the Aussies. Finished two foot. It could have finished anything really for Q8. This is a super finish though. Great goal by Mohamed al track Slams into the side netting. Wants to get his foot around that, not hit it with the full inset. Here's the second goal. Sebastian smell blood. Mohamed El Sayed with an outstanding finish. into the final third. A little angle pass back to the edge of the penalty area and bar that. That's a poor challenge. Out of those. Really well done. Still hasn't got to his feet yet, Raha. But it would be a shame if one of the key players in Q8 has been. And with a goal under his belt, he's now looking at every possibility, every opportunity to set. Q8's defence. Right, football isn't always about the physical, but you do get the sense that Q8's are just being out muscled as well as out played. Yeah. Relief for now off of Caldi. Suggesting any contact with accidental. Tell us too much. The the other. She is in the part of the field where often the part completion is left. And a little frustrated for me, Sebastian. So, that very much is Pakistan in uh, the box seat. to stay that way and stay this way here so he would miss any potential quarter final the car might be involved in and that's the decision from the referee 49 minutes in it's the first completed attack if I can put it that way for Q8 finally a cross time the man in blue in the box it was incredible effort However spectacular for Bada. <laughs> Fahad on the right and Wally Dali on the left. The predictability is that they're getting past. Oh, the ball, Bada, you talked about his past completion. Well, his last three possessions have ended up going where he wanted them to go. And the lead to shot go where he wanted to go, but it went to the ball. And it's a penalty ball. So he's clearly figured out for his first goal in this Asian Cup. Just close as he's come. So he puts the power in the man mark. Started his run towards goal and then because of the flight of the ball has to prop and head in the other direction. He uses the angle and the speed of the ball of the delivery to cause a couple of nervous moments for now up Alcaldi. He was way off target. So they got no punch. No punch in the final analysis. Wally Dali needs to do more than first touch is four and that gives Qatar the chance to defend it. Bada asked the question, Mohamed Jalal can only glance the head at Wally Dali not delivering what was the after 12 minutes and then Mohamed Al Sayed with the second just a few minutes later. She waits, uh, really suffered at the hands of Qatar, particularly physically but Bruno Matsu's side have imposed their will on this game and they deservedly lead at the interval by two goals to nil.